Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For our radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, it's tuning in through iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and our other podcast affiliates. We're glad you all could be with us as well. As you know, we're always trying to share information with you that can not only motivate you and inspire you, but also empower you. And that's why we're excited about our next group of guests. We're going to talk to you not only about the work that they do, but also about something that's coming up that you all can be a part of, and that is the 5th Annual Global Leadership Africa Summit Business Expo and Awards taking place October 27th and 28th in Washington, D.C. Here to talk to us more about it, we're excited to welcome back our friend Willis Victory. He's joined today by Yolanda Williams, Travis Kendrick, as well as Marco LaRock. We're going to talk to them not only about the work that they do, but also what they're excited about about the summit this year, and also what you all can expect as well. Thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you for Thank having you, Cyrus. us. It's an honor, as so, always. Uh, well, look, Willis, I'm going to kick things off with you. I mean, I was saying to the group that uh, you're kind of the OG of this group. We've known each other a long time. We're <laughs> always glad to be able to have you on the program. Uh, we're going to get into uh, the, the event that's taking place October 27th and 28th here in a bit. But I want to talk about, first of all, uh, as a bit of backstory here, Willis, about the work that you do. As I said on this program, we love to be able to inspire and empower as well as share information. What has it been like for you, Willis, to use your platform to be able to do just that? It's been uh, great honor, Cyrus, and thanks for having me again. Um, it's just something that you know we've been able to provide a lot of education and awareness, obviously, um, health and wellness-wise, to you know our community and impoverished communities around the world with our global paradigm, Plant-Based Sciences International. I am the founder of Plant-Based Sciences International, and Mr. Kendrick is actually on our board of directors and is going to be seated as a key position member in the company and has bought a great product for the immune system, a patent pending product called Apivrin, which we were very excited to join forces with them. And our global paradigm, as you know, spreads out through Canada, through PBSI Canada, PBSI Africa, uh, PBSI Costa Rica, and PBSI India, along with PBSI Jamaica, and it's just been um, very humbling to not only be able to spread the word, but we've had a great impact on, on lives and, and health, and through our telemedicine platform, we're looking forward to providing affordable global health care and placing an emphasis on plant-based medicine with the old model that comes from biblical rhetoric. Let thy food be thy medicine, tracing things back from the natural origins of medicine, food, and herbs, and hitting at what we have as an issue in a lot of our communities and around the world with the opioid addiction and the opioid epidemic that has touched so many lives, just not only in our communities, but across the world with um, different street lace things, and obviously pharmaceuticals um, becoming prevalent in people's everyday lives. So we're looking forward to providing much more education, awareness, and being of service and bringing value to the people around the world in that regard. Sorry. Well, Willis, as I mentioned, you all are here to talk about, of course, the work that you all are individually doing, which we're going to get more into, but also about the fifth annual Global Leadership Africa Summit Business Expo and Awards coming up at the end of this month. How did you first find out, Willis, about about the, the summit uh, and awards? Mr. Travis Kendrick, who's on our call now and, again, a part of our board at Plant Based Sciences International, he reached out to me, and I was just – honored and humbled to have the opportunity to assist and be a part of what they had in, in bridging the gap of investment, economic sustainment, wellness, and education and awareness, not only of African Americans in Africa, but just bridging that whole unification around the world with what we have in that beautiful continent of Africa. He introduced me to Ms. Yolanda, who's on our call here, and also 
Mr. Markle, and we engaged. They brought me on board, actually, as a speaker and a partner, as well as the director of global business and partnerships. So I'm looking forward not only to this event, but a long-term relationship and very excited to be a part of it and, and grateful as well to uh, Mr. Marco, Ms. Yolanda, and Mr. Travis. Well, Travis, your names have been mentioned quite a bit, so I'm going to come next to you. Uh, and Travis Kendrick, as I mentioned, is also with us uh, for this conversation today. So, Travis, I want to ask you a similar question what I asked Willis. What has it been like for you to use your platform to be able to do exactly what this summit and awards hopes to do, and that is to be able not only to inspire but also to empower? Excellent, Cyrus. First of all, thank you for having us. Um, I look forward to um, sharing uh, my thoughts with the audience. Um, so, what our, what a pivot has been has been a conduit for uh, reaching out to various business opportunities. So Pivot, let me just give you a little background. Pivot was developed uh, in Africa uh, by Dr. Valentina Gan in Burkina Faso about 20 years ago, and he developed this product uh, to fight HIV AIDS. Uh, and so over his 20 years of research, um, he was able to define some really good use use use, pro- use cases for this product. Um, and one of the use cases he found in 2020 was against COVID. He found that it was effective against COVID in clinical trials. So he wanted to bring it to America because he saw so much death happening to our community uh, as a result of COVID, COVID. And so we brought the product in. We initially, we were going to do clinical trials. Um, I'm also serving as director of business development for Wayne Pharmaceuticals, which is a, the only African-American manufacturer, uh, black manufacturer of pharmaceuticals, by the way. So, we were contacted by the Pivot team to, you know, do clinical trials, but they wanted millions of dollars, and the time was uh, it would take too long to do this. So, what we decided to do is bring it in as a supplement and to put that product on the market. And in doing so, that allowed us to, um, you know, to get it to people that needed it. Um, although we don't make claims, we can't make claims about the product. We certainly sell it as an immune support product. Um, that's what we do. But um, it's been very successful in the market, and a lot of people have. Uh, found it very uh, helpful in them re- recovering from various illnesses. So we're very happy with that. And um, this product that we have, a Pivrin, is an African product from an African plant in Africa. So we were able to bring that here and create a business uh, model for that and platform for that product, which is why the uh, Global Leadership African Summit is essential to help spur further uh, commerce and economic development and various connections between Africa and America and with the diaspora. So I think uh, Pivrin certainly becomes a, a conduit for that relationship and that bi-continent, bi-cultural uh, uh, relationship that we have that we want to express. And that, so that's uh, why I'm so happy that Marco uh, was able to bring us on to this event and his, his timing is perfect for it. And um, anyway, that's that's long story short. I just want to give you a background. Okay. And we're going to give more into that as well. Marco, your name was mentioned as well as Yolanda. Yolanda, I'm, I'm going to go to you next, Yolanda. Uh, and I want to talk about for yourself. I mean, again, thinking about when I was prepping for this segment, thinking about the, the mission of this summit, of course, and the work it's doing uh, to be able to add value, impact lives. That's part of what you've been able to do, Yolanda, with your platform. I want to talk, first of all, about that. What has that been like for you to have that mission for yourself through your platform uh, and to see that? being realized well actually this is an honor to be a part of such an organization and to be a part of this event and bringing all things to fruition we have lots of work to be done and since I've been working with Marco and the team I tell everyone I see and I feel that Africa is calling me Mm. and this is an opportunity to not only bridge the gaps and create relationships, but it's an opportunity to people, for African Americans in this country, to see the real Africa, to see and feel the real, true Africa. I don't want to say I stumbled upon this organization, Marco, and and the team. Travis called me to have Marco on my show, and I said, of course, anytime. Travis brings someone to my attention, I always, always go in the direction of what Travis says. So I said, sure, let's have a conversation with them, and I like to vet everyone that comes on my show because I am very, very discriminating. 
and we had a conversation, and I said, do they have a website? I went to the website, and Travis was very nonchalant about it, and I like I like the fact that, that Travis is a cool breeze. And I looked at the website, and I said, how come I didn't know this before? It blew me away. And I said, let's have a conversation. Let's have Let's do what we can, and I started talking about the people that I am either in business with or my associates, and the rest basically is where we are now, and it is an awesome opportunity. It truly is an awesome opportunity to be a part of this and see the direction, know where they came from, what the the plan is, and what the focus is. And it's really an awesome opportunity to watch this grow. And one of the things I have to say, and Marco, forgive me, how did this happen in Nebraska and I didn't know about it? (laughs) Well, you know, this brings up an interesting point, Marco. So, Marco, your name has been now referenced a lot, so we're glad to have you here with us, Marco LaRock. So, first of all, Marco, it seems like connecting is a big part of the work that you do. So I want to talk about that, especially as we're talking about this summit what has that been like for you to use who you are, what you've built to be able to connect people, but also to lead them to, as Yolanda just said, to the the truth about Africa and what Africa has to offer? Well, thank you so much for having us on the show. It is a true honor. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, you know, there's a stigma about Africa, as you guys know all the time. When people mention Africa, Africa is a continent, it's not a country. You know, and each country in Africa has its culture and stuff. And Africa has been growing, you know, from tech, you know, to I heard Travis just mentioned, like, you know, Aprivin, the way it was came from Africa, you know, plant based. So there's a lot of opportunity in Africa right now, and all eyes are, are in Africa, you know. So we want to take this opportunity to, to shine a good part of Africa, you know, and as an author and speaker, I had opportunity uh, four years ago when I look at my community like in Omaha, Nebraska, to bring together young professional African leaders, entrepreneurs, people who have passion for Africa to come together so we can get inspired, so we can learn and create positive change. And that was the true, you know, epitome of this conference that we're trying to do. And our goal pretty much is to create economic prosperity for African and African descent so that way we can make a greater impact on the continent. Because we're in a situation where you know, as I tell people all the time, the greater impact we make on the continent, the success is going to be for all of us. We look at China, India, you know, in Africa, we're not making tons of money. Why can't we do that? And I think, Marco, this brings up a good point. So when it comes to the summit then, I'm curious, and I'll let, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I want you to be able to tell our audience here. <laughs> is part of it not only showing what is happening um, with, when it comes to – Africa, but also letting people know how interconnected we are. Because it seemed like when I was prepping for this, that seems to be part of the theme of saying it's not just like Africa is over there. It's like Africa is here, and the work that's been been done with Africa is something that people can be a part of. Is that part of the mission of a summit like this? Yes. As as you know, right now, a lot of African-Americans are doing a DNA test to figure out, like, you know, where in Africa they came from, right? I think there's a lot of, like, you know, eyes on on the continent. So for us, like, you know, this is a movement that we are creating, you know, on key axes. So first, we want to create, like, you know, a diaspora engagement, global diaspora engagement. So that's one. Second, how do you make sure that we, we have, like, you know, a wealth creation mechanism for us as global African-African descent? Civic engagement, how do we make sure, like, you know, we participate in the process? In the electoral process, like I tell people all the time, if you are not on the table, you are on the menu. Well-being, you know, is another one. And then, how, and then finally, how do we make sure that we create that economic bridge between African and African-American tied to the continent? 
And I think, again, that's why conversations like this are so important and why summits like this are so important. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome a great panel today talking with us not only about the work that they're doing, but also something that's coming up that you all can be a part of, that being the fifth annual Global Leadership Africa Summit, Business Expo and Awards. It's taking place October 27th and 28th in Washington, D.C. We're going to give you guys the details. As I was mentioning, part of the theme of it is celebrating five years of adding value and making impacts, and that's exactly what our panel is doing. You just heard there from Marco LaRock. Also, we have Yolanda Williams. We have Travis Kendrick, as well as my friend Willis Victory here. We're going to also let you all know you can stay connected with all of them, as well as, of course, get your tickets for the summit. Yolanda, I'm going to go back with you as we go back around the table. But So as you're looking at this event that's taking place into this month, what is it that you hope uh, those that are listening who come that they're able to take away from it, Yolanda? Very good question, and I hope and pray that people will have a better understanding of what's going on on the continent of Africa, that people have an understanding of what the engagement can and will look like. People have a greater understanding of how to create wealth, not only wealth currently, but generational wealth, that people will have an understanding about creating that family, that kinship, creating compassion for one another. So there is a lot of work that we're putting into this, and we want people to leave this hotel, the uh, Grand Hyatt Hotel in Washington. We want them to leave healthy, whole, and healed. We want them to have a better understanding about what's taking place on the continent of Africa and how they can be engaged. So this is not only a informational gathering it's a party, but it's a party of knowledge. It's a party that's going to bring you knowledge, help you to feel whole and healed, and a new understanding of what's really taking place on the continent of Africa. All right. Travis, what about for yourself? What are you uh, excited for participants and those who attend? What are you excited for them to be able to take away from the summit this year? Well, I'm excited to um, have people appreciate uh, international trade and international commerce. I believe we, have, we as African Americans, we're kind of like, I feel like sometimes we're in the matrix in America, but we don't see beyond our borders. And I think hopefully this summit will give people a, a wider view and understanding there's opportunities outside of, of our borders and uh, to also help facilitate those through relationships that we already have. Uh, my partner, Mike Sayre, is actually currently in Togo. He's working on a huge telecom project that's going to basically bring 15 African countries together um, without having to, well, their cellular towers together without having roaming charges, which is a huge problem over in those 15 countries. So my goal and hopefully is to provide um, opportunity and also the know-how, people that actually know how to get things done in Africa. A lot of people say, well, how can I get, like, say, for instance, shea butter, uh, you want to bring shea butter from uh, from uh, West Africa? Then how do you do that? People don't have any idea, but you have shea butter. You may you have a beauty line. We can do that. We can facilitate that. We have people that can facilitate that. So actually being able to get things done and understanding the opportunities that rest beyond our, our borders. That's my question. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about for yourself. I know there's a lot of topics going to be covered among things that are definitely in your wheelhouse, especially when it comes to financial literacy and, and access to capital. But what are you looking forward to people being able to take away from this summit this year? These guys are a hard act to follow. Um, they, they covered a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> international trade, and um, as Ms. Yolanda was speaking yesterday, and we all were speaking, um, just to educate and, and create the comfortability in investing and understanding that the continent of Africa, as Marco said, it's, it's divided into countries and many different cultures and understanding how civilized it actually is. And as Travis stated, you know, Mr. Saar and the project that he's bringing the connectivity to the media, it'll provide the overall picture that we look to create away from the matrix that Africa is a thriving society and bridging that gap of comfort and bringing in opportunities, um, not only into the different states of Africa countries that we're in, but also the entire continent. And that's going to happen through education awareness and comfortability in understanding that 
there are there are opportunities there, not um, just for investment, but for residential living and development as well. And those are things that we're looking to bridge that gap and bring to the table and very excited about. Mark, I'm going to ask you a little different question because uh, for those who are just now finding out about the, the the summit and are trying to figure out, you know, what else they can expect, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the lineup? Because you all also have some great speakers. Would you would you mind, Marco, giving us some of the highlights that you hope people take away, but also some of the speakers you're excited about? Yeah. So thank you so much uh, for the question. Uh, I think uh, one thing, for instance, that like people uh, have to take advantage of is our business expo. And our goal with the business expo is to promote by black. You know, just imagine if black people can support each other, support their business so the dollar can stay within us. That would be wonderful. We, we will achieve great things. To the question of the lineup, we have some speakers coming from Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast. Uh, I'm excited about all of them, including, like, you know, Danny Glover. But I'm the most excited about Aisha Bowie. Aisha Bowie, she's local in the DMV. She's an astronaut, and she's traveling, you know, to the space next year with Jeff Bezos. She's the first black African-American that's traveling to the space with Jeff Bezos next year. And she just won a billion-dollar contract with the U.S. government. I'm excited, I'm excited about her because she has a lot of nuggets that we can learn from, we can get inspired about. Because sometimes, like, you know, you have to see that it's possible so you can do too. There's a lot of young black people out there sometimes, due to the challenges, they think it's not possible. The story of Aisha and that story can give us the faith and the belief that we can all do something together for the purpose of lifting and creating wealth for black people. And and I think it's interesting, as you just said there, it really is about the realizing what can be done together. Do you think that also, uh, Marco, then I'm going to actually throw it back to the roundtable here. Do you think that also is one of the big takeaways here? Because I noticed that um, one of the things that was said on one of the uh, promotional flyers I saw is that it's the number one gathering of global young professional African leaders, entrepreneurs, African descendants, and friends of Africa. Is that is that theme of togetherness kind of running throughout the whole thing, Marco? Yes, because, like, you know, we have to be very inclusive. There's a lot of people, right, either the Caucasian, different nationalities that have a passion for Africa, right, that want Africa to grow. So we have to invite those people also to be part of us, you know, so we can all together figure out how we can develop Africa through entrepreneurship, right? Yes, aids are great, but we believe that, like, you know, entrepreneurship and, and, and the international trade you know, that we just mentioned earlier, I did not get for us to go together. Really important things. And, of course, as uh, I want to, for my fellow nerds out there like myself, I want to remind you guys that October is National Book Month, and there will be a book fair at this summit as well, yet another reason why to be able to go there. Uh, I mentioned the financial literacy impact. Uh, Mark, I'm going to ask you about this, but then I'm going to go to the panel to kind of talk about, again, um, what, what of course, they you know are excited about for themselves. But, Mark, talk to us about the financial literacy aspect and why that's so important. Yeah, financial literacy education is very impor important. You know, I have the opportunity to write a book. You know, my first book is about uh, money management. I also wrote a second book about college debt, screw college debt. Financial literacy education is the, is, is the backbone of everything that we do. You know, and access to the information is key. Once you have access to information, where to find your credit line, business line, where what, what is the money in, all those stuff like, you know, can lift you up and help you go faster you know, done if you don't have those basic knowledge. So that's what part of this event, we're going to have a workshop on financial literacy education, what is important and what are the key things about people, especially black people, to know about. All right. So a lot of great information being able to take place over two days. Again, we're talking about the 5th Annual Global Leadership Africa Summit, Business Expo, and Awards. Again, taking place October 27th and 28th. Here on our panel today, you just heard there from Marco LaRock. Marco's going to let you guys know here in a bit where you guys can go to get more information. We also have Yolanda Williams, Travis Kendrick, and Willis Victor as well. I appreciate all of you coming on and talking with us about the event. But, Marco, for our audience out there that's just finding out they're interested in getting more information, getting their tickets, where is the best place for them to go to do that? So they can go to the website, www.afsummit.com. 
you know, to purchase the ticket. You know, ticket. We have early bird ticket. You know, we have a general ticket. We have a ticket for just the gala. We have a combo ticket for people who want to attend both the conference and the gala. And then we have a VIP ticket for those who want to be in the VIP lounge to hang out with the speaker and have a B2B. All right. Marco, I appreciate you being on with us. Yolanda, I appreciate you being with us as well. Looking forward to staying connected. How can our audience stay connected with you? They can go to itrnradio.com. That's itrnradio.com. They can also find us on all of the social media platforms, and they can listen Monday through Wednesday at 4, 5, and 6. We've got shows practically every day. They can find us on all of their social media platforms. We're there, and we're talking. All right, Yolanda, great to be able to connect with you. Travis, how can our audience stay connected with you? Um, yes, yeah, so sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can um, get me on my socials. Um, I have uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, I can probably do my LinkedIn is uh, Travis Denard. Um, so LinkedIn, Travis Denard, you should be able to find me on LinkedIn. Also, um, I have a couple of corporate sites, um, Wayne Pharmaceuticals.com and also um, AppearInVentures.com. Okay. Glad to have you on. And Willis, uh, last but certainly not least, appreciate you being back with us, bringing us another great roster of guests here. Willis, how can our audience stay connected with you and what you have going on? They can stay connected at plantbasedsciences.com and on any social media platform, either through Plant Based Sciences or my name, Willis Victory, and I will reference a Piverin at www.apiverin.com. And I'm glad you received the product, Cyrus, and I hope that you use it and protect yourself over the seasonal changes. Thank you. I appreciate that, and we'll be definitely writing my testimonial as well. Again, everyone, Willis Victory, Travis Kendrick, Yolanda Williams, Marco LaRock have been our guests, again, telling us about the 5th Annual Global Leadership Africa Summit Business Expo and Awards, again, taking place October 27th and 28th in Washington, D.C. As you heard Marco mention, that website is afsummit.com. We'll make sure that we link that up for you guys joining us uh, on the podcast side, but as joining us on the radio side, we will have it on our Facebook page as well. Appreciate all of you coming on and looking forward to chatting with you again. Thank, Thank you, Cyrus. You. Always Thank, you. Hey. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you. I look forward to connecting with you. More than welcome, and I do as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs> 